So, you want to make lip sync animations like this in DaVinci Resolve? No problem. First, you want to bring your audio onto the timeline. I'm just going to use this audio from one of my other tutorials. Okay, this is super exciting. So then, under the effects, you can bring down a fusion composition, then just drag that down so it's the right length, then make sure the playhead is over that, and go into fusion. So I am going to assume you have some experience in fusion for this video. So first, in the media pool, I'm going to bring down my character, and drag that into the media out. This is just a little stick guy I drew. Now for the mouth animation, I found these mouth shapes online, but of course you could draw your own. I went through and numbered them 1 through 9 so that when I brought them into Fusion it would read it as an image sequence. So I can just select all these and drag that into Fusion. So now I've got my mouth shapes in Fusion, and each frame is a different shape. And because there are 9 shapes, it ends after frame 8, since Fusion counts frame 0 as a frame. So if I hit play, it goes really fast through the frames and just ends. But I want this to match my audio. So to animate what frame it shows, I can hit shift space and search for a time speed node. Bring that to viewer, and I'm going to set the speed to 0. Now it's not moving at all, but if we play around with this delay slider, I can choose what mouth frame I want to be on. Now there is this kind of thing that if it's between a frame, you'll get this kind of weird ghosting effect, so I can just change the interpolation mode to nearest. Now trying to animate with this delay slider would be kind of finicky, you have to move it really gently to get the right frame, and if you move it too high it'll just kind of freeze. So to make it easier to control, I'm going to hit shift space and search for a custom tool. Now by default it comes with tons of points and sliders, we don't need any of these, so I can go to the configuration tab, bring down this number controls, and just uncheck all of them. And then do the same for the point controls and the LUT controls. Now if we go back to the controls tab, well nothing's there. So what we're going to do is we can actually add our own controls to this. So I'm going to right click on this, go to edit controls, and now we can add our own control. So I'm just going to name this mouth control, I want this to be a number control, and I want it to be on the controls page want to be animatable. I'm going to check this integer, and I'm going to set the range from 0 to 8 in both of these. Now if you have more than 9 mouse shapes, you want to set this to match however many you have. And I would like it to be a slider control. Then I can hit OK. And now it's added our mouth control. And this method of adding a control works on any node. I just used the custom tools so we could get rid of the other controls. I'm going to go ahead and hit F2 and rename this node to mouth control. Now this doesn't actually control anything yet. So to link it to our time speed, I can hit this button right here to pin it. So now if we open the time speed, we can see our mouth control. So in the delay, I'm going to hit equals, hit enter, and that'll bring up the expression thing. So I can pull out from this little plus thing and connect this to the mouth control. Now, whatever the value of the mouth control is, it'll be in our delay. So now we have this control that's easy to use and it only has the values that we need. Now I can merge my mouth over my guy and I'm going to add a transform node and scale that and bring it into the right place. So now I need my audio to sync it to, but if I press play, there's no audio playing. So with nothing selected, I can hit shift space and search for media in. Now if I press play, I should hear my audio. Okay, this is super exciting. Now if you're not hearing any audio, go under the audio and make sure it's set to timeline audio. And if you still don't hear anything, try using this purge audio cache. Now with this media in selected, I can go to the keyframes tab, make sure only show selected tools is checked, then I can press this to make it fill the whole screen. If I bring down this, I can actually see the audio waves, so that'll make it easier to tell when the words start. Now I can set a keyframe on our mouth control, and then go to the first mouth shape. Then I'm going to go to where the first word starts, and set that to O, since he's saying OK. Then I'm going to go to where the next sound is, I think that's here. Okay, this? Yeah, here. And now I'm just going to go through the shot animating the mouth to match the audio. Now you might notice it's adding random shapes between your keyframes, like from here where it goes from 6 to 7 to 8, I want it to go from just from 6 to 8. And we can fix this at the end, but it's easier to do after you've animated the whole shot. Just take your time going through and matching the mouth shapes. When you're done, you can select your mouth control, go to the spline tab, make sure show only selected tools checked again, then go down and check our mouth control, and click this to bring it to the full screen. Now I can select all of these, and press this button to make them step in. Now to go straight from one keyframe to the next without trying to animate between them. Okay, this is super exciting. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy this one, where I try to recreate the look from Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse.